Yeah, this poster presentation summarizes the first year results of the uh, subcutaneous ravulizumab. Uh, this study is an ongoing phase three multi-center randomized uh, clinical trial and main objective was to evaluate the efficacy, treatment, administration satisfaction and safety of the ravalizumab. And uh, in this trial, uh, we have uh, 128 patients. Uh, there are two phases, one uh, randomized tr treatment phase for 10 weeks and uh, extension phase for 172 weeks. And at day one, uh, all the patients had uh, actually uh, hmm, uh, all the patients uh, cl were clinically st stable patients and they had used intravenous ecolizumab at least more than three months. And after randomization, uh, at day one, all the patients got IV ravalizumab with loading dose and day uh, 15, uh, Subcutaneous ravulizumab arm patients got weekly subcutaneous ravulizumab uh, as maintenance dose. And at day 15 in IV ravulizumab arm, patients got IV ravulizumab maintenance dose. And eight weeks later, they switched to subcutaneous ravulizumab arm. And they continued uh, subcutaneous ravalizumab in every week as a maintenance dose. Uh, one of the main objective was efficacy. So efficacy endpoints included uh, LDH uh, levels, stable LDH levels, breakthrough hemolysis, uh, incidence, uh, transfusion avoidance, and uh, hemoglobin stabilization. And uh, uh, in, uh, for, for if we look at the uh, LDH levels, they were all st stable through at the, throughout a year, one, uh, 351 days, LDH levels were all stable. There were very few breakthrough hemolysis in the study three events in uh, subcutaneous arm, two events in IV ravalizumab, then subcutaneous uh, arm, and uh, four of them were related with infection. One, we didn't know the etiology, but neither of them uh, are related with low uh, C5 complement 5 inhibition. So it was important. Uh, treatment administration satisfaction uh, were the second main objective and this is this assessed uh, by trans treatment administration satisfaction questionnaire we call task uh, and tasks uh, we calculated task score and this task uh, has been shown to be content valid for PNH patients and uh, assesses five domains, uh, physical, physical impact, psychological impact, uh, impact for daily activities, and convenience and satisfaction. And if you see the reduction of the task score, it will indicate the treatment administration satisfaction. And in this trial, we showed uh, reduction of the test score just after the subcutaneous injection. So all the patients were uh, really satisfied with this route of uh, treatment. So it was good and this is maintained through a year. Huh? Uh, so it is a good uh, for us to see. Uh, our third uh, objective was to safety and uh, although patients 
uh, all of the pain, almost all of the patients uh, reported at least one adverse events, but they were all uh, grade one or two. Serious adverse events uh, or grade four adverse events were, uh, were very low. Uh, and we didn't see any meningococcal infection or major adverse vascular events during uh, uh, through a year in this study. Uh, actually, uh, as a conclusion, uh, in subcutaneous revolizumab is well tolerated, safe. Uh, there are some uh, side effects but they were comparable with IV ecolizumab and rabolizumab. So it looks safe. Uh, there are some uh, device issue because during subcutaneous route, we use on-body on delivery system kits uh, loaded with rabolizumab. So there are uh, some device uh, problems, but 99.9% .9 percent of the patients got uh, their mm, rabolizumab. So uh, it, it seems safe and subcutaneous route uh, is an alternative treatment choice for uh, C5 complement 5 inhibitor treatment.